So what are helium hard drives? Well basically, they're just like regular hard drives, except they're encased in helium. Let's establish some background here. While you've probably never thought about it, and for good reason, most hard drives are encased in simple air. Now, while air seems pretty light to us, it's actually a combination of gases, so its density depends on multiple variables. And these variables range from altitude to humidity. Air's density decreases as altitude increases. So, when a temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, and when you're testing at sea level, air's density is measured at around 1.29 kilograms per square meter. So where does helium come in? Well, helium gas is far less dense than air, measuring in at 0.164 kilograms per meter squared. A hard drive encased in helium boasts significant advantages. For one, less turbulence is produced, which means less friction, allowing the hard drives to spin even faster. It also means that less heat is generated, less power is consumed, and the hard drive makes less vibrations, so you don't have to hear that annoying sound it makes once in a while. One other big advantage helium hard drives have is that it can allow for increased storage. Western Digital was the first company to introduce the helium hard drive, and it's been used in large data centers and other areas where digital information is archived. Here in late 2015, it's Western Digital again, more specifically its subsidiary HGST, to introduce to the common consumer the world's first 10 terabyte hard drive. Now lastly, what are the disadvantages to these helium hard drives? For starters, it's expensive. The fact that a hard drive being a total of 10 terabytes alone will cost a pretty penny, but having it filled with helium is also another challenge. See, helium atoms are incredibly tiny, and not just because it's an atom. In fact, they are so small, they can seep through numerous metals, and actually almost any material. Long story short, the drives encasing the helium needs to be tightly packed, and be built very well in order for it to last without having any helium leak. Oh, and before anyone says it, helium is not flammable, in fact it doesn't react with anything. That blimp you're thinking about was filled with hydrogen, which is highly flammable.